Welcome to the Fan Village Free Zone over here in Doha, Qatar for the World Cup, guys. I remember this is where I arrived and I checked in and it was nothing like this. There was absolutely none of this shade. There was definitely not this amount of people. We're about a little over a week into the World Cup and more and more people arrived. Some sections that were closed off before appear to be open now. And there's a lot more gone, guys. So I'm gonna do a dedicated video showing you what you can expect over here when you pay $200. For, for one of these container rooms. So it all begins here, guys. The reception. Things have changed over here. In order to combat the queue, you also have a airport right next to here, so you get to see really cool planes flying all around. It makes for cool pictures in this area that they have flagged, I'll show you. But check it out, you arrive. You're gonna scan your code, and then you're gonna be put in the queue and on the screen right there, hello, what's up, brother? Hello, sir. On the screen right there, it's gonna show your number, and basically, you just hang around here and wait until you're called. Or Alejandra is a little smarter; she she found this spot over here. So we're just waiting here, guys. I think they told me it's gonna be about an hour, so I'm gonna show you guys my room, and I'm gonna show you the atmosphere and the things to do over here. They have a gym, they have a soccer field, they have a lot more restaurants than when I arrived. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little bit what's going on, what's changed before I do the full tour. I just ordered food and it should be here any minute. I ordered mountains of biryani. I got people from all over the world are arriving. Portuguese there. The Mexicans bringing the music. So you get a SIM card on arrival, guys. I already got one. Thanks, brother. Thank you. I got it, brother. Thanks. So basically, with your hire card that you need to get in the country, you get um, a free two-day SIM card. And when you get the SIM card, watch what you accept because it asks you a lot of things. This is how they're doing the checkout. That's a grocery store there, by the way. These are the dining options. So check it out. We got a match going on, guys. This is like a huge screen over here showing the matches you really got to be brave to be waiting out in this sun right now watching the game it is you can fry an egg on the streets hot out here or you can heat up like some chawarma meat on the street so here you get qatari food guys Looks like a Qatari biryani. I think that's what they call them. Oh, they have biryani here. Magbus. Qatari food? Yeah, Qatari food. Okay, it's like biryani? Yeah, it's like a biryani. Similar like biryani. Okay. I'll come back and try it, man. Thanks. Sure, so I'll be waiting for you. All right, thank you. So yeah, these are, these are the prices here. People everywhere, guys. And they have these little scooters that you can rent out and just drive around. Yeah. Look at that couple's doing. Woo! Wow, okay, so a lot has changed, guys. There's a lot more activity since I was last year. You can rent a car over here. They have a car rental agency now. They have a pharmacy here. So there's a pharmacy. Looks like we got an ATM in the house now. Hello. Hello. I'm just seeing like the stuff over here. Yeah, okay. Alright, it's like a fully stocked pharmacy. I like it. You guys have everything here? Yes. Alright, awesome. Thank you. Alright, so that, that's new. And the ATM is new. I wish we would have had this when I was first here. All right, all right, guys. I'm gonna go search for my biryani. That's probably gonna arrive here any moment.
and basically uh, I found an app to deliver my food over here it's similar to whatever you have in your country it works really well and yep my delivery guy is almost here and well basically I've had some food over here I think the best thing I had was the chawarmas now I, that Qatari food section looks interesting however the prices on here on the app are about one third of what you pay over here it's basically you pay like the convenience of having the food here oh, look at this That's some Arabic coffee Smells nice, smells nice there. Alright, let's go look for, for my driver. Check out our fan gear. Hello. Airplanes arriving. Hello. Fans arriving. Oh, we got a bigger pharmacy here. This one comes with toothbrushes. And I did notice at the check-in there's a, a priority option. Maybe you pay a little more or something, you can get that. By the way guys, this is the check-in desk and over there is the metro station. Conveniently located. I think this is my guy. Faizan? Yeah. Oh, Faizan. Perfect, brother. A lot of biryani. Alright. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Have a good one. Alright, guys. I, <laughs> I think I ordered too much food. Am I the only one that goes on these apps and just orders with my eyes and then I order a lot more food? But it never goes to waste. I end up eating it. After hours, the next morning. It all gets eaten. <laughs> Time to take a, a food break and then we'll be back, guys. There's a Talisari biryani. It's from the region of Kerala in India, South India. And you can tell because the rices are, are smaller and it tends to be on the sweeter side for me. Due to the long check-in line, guys, it's been over three hours. I'm already digesting my biryani by now. They're offering free food to all the waiting guests. People watching the game there now. But they said go here, go to this tent and they have free food. I'm gonna go check out the free food. Who doesn't like free food? If it's good food. Sadly, I'm here too late guys. I missed out on all the free food. But I must say, there's really cold AC here. Really, really cold AC. It feels nice in here to get all that heat. So check it out. Apparently, you can change money in here, guys. Feel free to know. Hello. Hello. Enjoy your food, guys. Hello. Well, check it out, guys. This looks like some of the best food in the house. Look at this. Chawamas. You see the two big things of meat there? Let's go check out the grocery store. Oh. Whoa. It's like a little Walmart. Alright, so fan gear in every other aisle. Chivas de Guadalajara in the house. All right, you can get all that here, guys. In the middle of this container camp, we have a little Walmart. A little convenience store.
Oreos. I wonder what Oreos in Qatar taste like. Hmm. Let's check out the cereal. Oh, we have Nutella. I'm glad that things have calmed down here guys because I remember I tried to come here when I first arrived at, at night like at 2 in the morning and everybody was here You can even get ginger, I like it, I like it We got water Sorry And juice Alright well I'm gonna go get a card and I'm gonna stock up on some things some necessities. So I'm looking to get Snickers, but I, I want regular Snickers. They seem to just have this high protein Snickers. Yeah, they don't have to do. Oh, by the way, let's look at the price. So, yeah, the high protein Snickers is like three dollars USD. I found the regular Snickers, guys. So check it out guys, the double stuff Oreos are called double cream here. You're gonna get that a go for sure. So a bottle of strawberry soda is gonna be five rounds. So it's like almost two dollars USD, it's like a dollar and fifty cents. So I must say the prices here aren't bad at all. This is all I'm getting guys, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna find a grocery store here in Qatar, like a real big one, and, and see what it's like over here. So I'm just stocking up on a few essentials and I'll go do a real grocery, some real groceries um, in the upcoming days. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it smells really good. Sir, what is this? What's the name? Sweet. Sweet? All right. Some sweets, guys. Let's try some Qatari sweets out here. Mm. Whatever it is, it's really good, guys. It has a nice little cream inside. So we're on number 312. I'm 313, guys. I'm next. I've been waiting so long that the sun is about to set. The good thing is I don't have any matches to go to today, so... I'm just hanging out. We gotta check it out. I'm next. I even turned on notifications. All right, counter number three. Right here. Which is your uh, room key? Uh, tea. Tea. You please keep, stay there. Stay there. Yeah. You please sit. Okay. Comfort. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is the. This is how it works. They pick you up on the car. They take your luggage. All this stuff. The guys are very nice and courteous. And um, yeah, they're gonna drop us off there. Woo! So I found out that the buffet is until four. If you have a long wait, they'll put you in there, but it's until four, I didn't know, so. I missed out on the food, but it's all right, because I had biryani. Biryani, I mean, unless they had biryani there, then I missed out on free biryani. Uruguay fam, they're running in. We're late, we're late. Running we have late. to run, you yes, we're run. running late. All right, good luck, man. What's All the score? Right, What's you. the score? Uh, Chuchiro today. No, Chuchua, Chuchua, Chuchua. Chuchu Nunes, Juan Ronaldo. But today, the main Portugal is out. All right, good luck, guys. Make more goals than the than the Portugal. That's it. That's it. Play that simple, guys. Just win. However you can do it. Uh, good luck to Uruguay, guys. Good luck. Lo queremos, Venezuela. All right, guys. You are from Venezuela? Yep. Okay. Born in Venezuela, raised in Miami. I see, so you support USA? Right? Yep. You will be again, play against Iran, yeah? Yep. Good luck. Thanks, man. Where are you guys from? Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Oh, you guys play against Mexico. Yeah. Big match. Yeah, I think the stadium is going to be packed like this. All I mean, green. Yeah. Both yeah. countries yeah, are yeah. green. Mexico and we green, yeah. So, oh. inshallah, inshallah, we'll... Uh, I mean, well, what's your score prediction? Uh, if okay. we win? For the Mexico Saudi yeah, Arabia match. Uh, two one, inshallah. Team or two one. What do you think? He's from Kashmir. Kashmir. Oh, okay, India. India. Yeah. I think so. Guess Saudi Arabia and Mexico. What is the result will be? What is India? Saudi Arabia. Since they played so good against Argentina, they won. 
And your prediction? 2-1 uh, Saudi Arabia. 2-1 Saudi Arabia? Inshallah, yes. All right. What about uh, you, guess? Man, I don't want to guess it anymore. I'm done predicting anything can happen in this World Cup. Yeah, I do. Football is crazy. We beat Argentina, Japan beat Germany. Yeah, Japan beat Germany. Uh, Morocco beat Belgium. Yeah, oh, that was crazy. That they was, dominated them. That was lovely. And Iran in last second in your group, 2-0 against Wales. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be interesting what happens versus yeah. the US now. Yeah. Crazy World Cup, unexpected. Yeah. Many Maybe people lost their money in the betting, no? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure, yeah. yeah. I'm sure. And a lot of people, whoever bet it the other way, probably made a lot of money. Saudi Arabia versus Argentina, if I'm not mistaken, I read it was the losses were around 16 billion US dollars. Wow. For that game, so. Yeah, one guy bet like 25,000 dollars. Now his uh, balance is like 1,500,000 dollars. Wow. He exactly with the, the, the result, 2-1. He said 2-1 Saudi Arabia. And he, he got rich. <laughs> he got rich. <laughs> well, check it out, guys. I got a wooden cabin now. And they're building more cabins everywhere. And it's only been four days since I left this village, and they're already building more. These cabins that I'm going to be staying at now, these weren't even up when I was here. But they got them up now, so I'm interested to see my room now. This time we got a king bed. Alright, let's go check it out. Alright, let's have a look at it. Yeah, yeah. We're greeted with a fridge, water. We got a king bed. Oh, look at Look at the blankets this time. A fridge. AC unit. Here's the restroom. All right, this one. Is, oh wow! All right, this is actually an upgrade from the last bathroom. Yeah. All right, so the AC is working. All right, perfect, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much. So they're building containers all over the place. They're placing containers all over the place. You almost get the feeling you're at a, a dock or some type of port where a lot of cargo comes in from. And you're walking across the street. Now this guy's not gonna let him. Be careful, we won't let you go. All right, so there's a lot of cars coming in. And basically we're gonna go watch the game. We're gonna go wanna watch one of the World Cup games over at the the screen part, whoa. whoa. All right. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so this is it. Before, we were staying right over here. And then behind here are like the water tanks and some of the generators. So if you come here and you're a light sleeper, definitely um, don't take one of the rooms next to the generators because it might not let you sleep. Oh yeah, they have one of the spots to watch the game. Oh yeah, let's go check it out there. Let's go to the first one. So there's two different ones, guys. Um, They all have different kind of seatings, chairs. They're not really chairs. They have like bean balls. Poof. You call them poofs? Poofs. Poofs. <laughs> they have poofs. <laughs> poofs. <laughs> All right, guys, so they have poofs. <laughs> and this way, well, well, you'll see what they have here. Let's go check it out, guys. Everybody's watching the game right now. In case you're wondering, it is Brazil versus Switzerland. Whoa, we got a packed house. All right, come early. Everybody's just hanging out watching the game. Yeah, great work, great from Vinicius there, pressing the way on the dock keeper. Holy smokes. All right, definitely come early, guys. I'm just gonna hang out here and watch it.
They're selling food all over the place here. Guys, there is not a single seat. But check it out. Those are the poofs Alejandro was talking about. The poofs. Oh. <laughs> and you just have all type of spectators here to enjoy the beautiful game. Oh, look at that. We have a young team here. So you have a basketball court there, and then you have some soccer fields. So there's a volleyball court there. And this is the gym here, guys. This is what you can expect. It comes with a fully loaded gym. We have fans of Argentina all over the place. We have children playing the beautiful game here. Oh, the ball comes to me, I'm gonna get a touch. All right, that ball was hard, guys. And some of these kids are playing barefooted. So this is the other viewing area guys There's literally no space Brazil is playing so everybody's here Everybody wants to see Brazil Check out the weather guys It looks like it's gonna rain in Qatar for once That's very weird uh, Barely seen clouds guys and I'm gonna wrap this video up now. I wanted to wait until the last day that I check out of here to let you guys know exactly what happened and what has not happened. So remember when I got here about some 12 days ago, these were under construction. And basically they stopped working on them the moment Saudi Arabia and Mexico were eliminated. The moment they didn't advance to the round of 16, they they stopped because that's almost about half the fans right there. There's a lot of Saudi Arabian fans coming in, so I guess they needed more accommodation and, and they got these things up and running very quickly, as you can see. To be honest, I never saw anybody in any of these over here. We're almost some of the only guests this deep back over here. And if you're gonna come here, make sure that they put you in the front because the Wi-Fi doesn't reach over here and I never had hot water either. So keep that in mind. I did ask them to change me. They said they'll get back to me twice. Nobody ever did. That sucked, but it wasn't the end of the world anyways, guys. It's very hot outside, so taking cold showers is not bad. But it sucks at night when it's three in the morning coming back from the match. Then it's not cool. But other than that, I mean, I have nothing else to say, guys. This is the atmosphere. There's guys walking around cleaning up all the time. There's the little cart that you see over there. Those are the the room service people. They walk around at night and it's like <laughs> it's like a group of all eight of them. They walk in a group and they clean, they knock on your door to clean up or offer you um, fresh towels or any of that type of stuff, guys. But yep, that's it, guys. That's the cabins over here. Uh, 200 bucks a night. That's what you can expect. And just make sure you get put in the front because it's about a 15 minute walk from here to the reception and about a 20, 25 minute walk to the Metro. So you want to keep that in mind. And there should be availability now that it's very empty. As you guys saw last night, it was extremely empty there. So yeah, guys, I have nothing else to say, guys. That's the accommodation over here, the $200 container boxes. Well, let's see, let's check up on Alejandra. Let's see if she has anything to say. Ale, hello. Do you have anything to say? Any final words? <laughs> Negative. <laughs> no, 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 no. Negative. Tuvo mejor de lo que pensamos en realidad. All right. Después de la carpa, cualquier cosa. All right. Totalmente. All right, guys.
Yeah, definitely. W once you go through the $200 tent, then the container here feels like heaven, 100%. <laughs> All, right. All right, thank you. All right, guys, on a positive note, I walked to the front and they're sending the cart over to get the luggage. I recommend you do the same because it's a, it's a walk to the metro. All right, I'm checking into a, another hotel, uh, a fancy hotel. I will do the video about that place and the whole experience. All right, for real this time, signing off. Not sure if the camera picked it up, guys, but it's raining in Qatar, guys. That is the official start of winter here and the rainy season. I feel like it's a big deal because it's been very hot every day, guys. So basically, this means that it's gonna be a lot cooler now. I like it, I like it. And I'm also gonna add, guys, whoa, this place is huge. really need a bird's eye view to just see just how big this place is. I think he's just yeah, dropping friend, off a phone. I have dropped uh, three people here, right? So he's, somebody people. left their phone on here yeah, and he's returning it. Minutes. But yeah guys, I'm gonna add yeah. also that I believe right? these accommodations are from some other company. It's not Qatar and it's not FIFA. I believe it's somebody else just running this show here. Oh, the car is still moving. Hey, the car is moving. The car is moving. <laughs> so, so yeah, that's what I believe. I'm not 100% sure. And the last guy, all right, the, the video is really over now.